I think the football games are be, going to be A-OK -okay tonight. It does look dry and warm once again. I'm joined by a little helper here. I'm going to have him introduce himself. Tell us your name. Jacqueline. And how old are you? Three. And did you like holding the microphone? Yeah. Yeah, and so much so that we had to switch here. He's holding my clicker. I got to borrow that just a second, Mac. But I said to him, hey, don't push any of these buttons. And he didn't. And then he said, I love you, Mommy. I'm like, this is so sweet. I, lo I love it, too. Yeah, oh, look at his blowing kisses now. It. How cute. I know. All right, we better get to the forecast information, Mac. How do you feel about it being warm and dry? No comment. No comment. We do have some radar on radar right now, but it's mainly in western Iowa, right around Fort Dodge. And it's been staying in western Iowa all morning long, but it will fizzle out as it moves off to the east. I can't promise you you're not going to see a few spotty sprinkles here early this afternoon, but overall tonight it looks dry. And then overnight, the showers and thunderstorms fire up. We will see some rain early tomorrow, and then our heaviest rain moves in late Saturday into early on Sunday, and that's when we could see some thunderstorms once again. Temperatures right now close to 79 degrees, but where it's been raining, it's definitely cooler. You can see it's going to warm up into the 80s this afternoon and then fall back into the upper 60s by early tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Just to break it down for you, 75 around Algona today, much cooler than the past couple of days, 85 in Indianola and in Altoona will be in the mid 80s and it looks like along the southern border of the state will be in the mid 80s as well. We do have some more weekend rain chances that I'll break down for you coming up live here from the Science Center of Iowa. Can you say back to you, Erin? Back to you, Erin. Oh, oh, I'm in love. All right.